Hi everyone, it's Retro Looker, and today we are back playing Sackboy, a big adventure. Now, I really enjoy this game. It's it's just super good fun, and it's very family friendly and so on. I'm having a good time, and as you remember, I made my Sackboy into a little uh, Mohican wearing punk rocker guy. We bought some stuff at the shop from Zomzoms. And today we will be jumping into the next level, which is called Cold Feet, and not as in feet, but feet. So uh, I did a quick Google as well after I uh, made the assumption that Scarlet was Dawn French, and it is in fact Dawn French, and I'm so glad that I was able to make that connection because um, it's nice when you see voices that you recognize uh, voices from your childhood. It's like in my household. We were big fans of the Vicar of Dibley uh, And if you're not English, you probably don't know what that is, but that was a big staple in our household and uh, it's good fun and uh, Here's some of the costumes we can have during this next level one reminds me of uh, Mary of uh, Little Hope and then we've sort of got a little renaissance guy and a uh, break heel and naked sack boy. So we're going to be going with our punk rocker uh, sack boy. Oh dear. Um, oh, select. There we go. And uh, his... Um, the other bits I put on him have gone for some reason. The piercings and the shoes. Maybe I didn't save them. But I imagine we're going to see some new mechanics in this one as well. Yeah, this one's sort of a, a snow one. And I love how happy he is as well. It's good fun. I mean, I don't know how many like hits we've got. Oh dear. I like you know what I mean. Oh shit. I, oh, oh, there's a thing there. There we go. Nice. We got a new costume piece. And get some bell. Oh, they're not bells. Little orbs. Let's get rid of this little angry birds looking guy and he dies straight away. Can he jump on these? Oh yes, there we go, see? Brain power. Get out of here, you. Okay, so um oh, there's lots of interactives as well. You can like you can punch everything and grab everything and it's really good fun. I love the interactiveness of it. Like this, this ramp here is a sponge. These fences are little cardboard. We can get up here, get out there. I mean, I know this shit's aimed for kids, but like, I I really enjoy it. You know, it's like I said previously. Oh, we can get up using that. Little Big Planet has always been a staple of the PlayStation uh, history. One thing I'm uh, kind of uh, surprised we haven't got is another Knack game. You remember Knack? That was, was sort of that was a PS4 launch game, I believe. We get up here. Nice. We got another, another. Oh, this is the. Nice. This is the um, the the dark the Imagisphere or whatever it was called. Yeah, Knack was a PS4 launch game. If I remember. can we punch these? Yes. Ooh, I nearly died then. Oh, shit. And we have to get in the... I called this a cabbage last time. I've since been informed it's a rose <laughs> and not a cabbage. It doesn't look like a rose to me. Oh, he's kind of fun. Oh, shit. There you go. Oh, you take two hits. Okay. Yeah, I don't know how hard this is going to get, but a couple of my friends have told me it can be infuriating in places. And uh, I'm okay with that. I like a, a challenge as much as the next guy, as long as it's not too hard. I assume the platinum will be somewhat uh, obtainable as well. Get out of here, you. I like how the eyes follow you around. Oh, shit. Okay, we sort of have to... Oh, we can just go across. That's fine. Oh, shit. There's Mr. Yeti again. Come to look at us weird. Get that out of here. Oh, there we go. Uh, oh, shit. 
I'm not great at like depth perception. I always mess shit up. Come on, man. There we go. We have to jump off him. There we go. I kind of miss Stephen Fry though, as the uh, as the narrator. Again, it's a very you know a staple of uh, British culture and. Um, you know, I, I didn't click on instantly, but the game was actually made in England. It was made in Sheffield, which uh, is not where I'm from, but uh, it's not too far. I have... Oh, shit. I have been to Sheffield, so uh, it's 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 home turf. It's familiar ground. I, I like that it's a, a British-made game, and it's, uh, it's good news. Because things like this, they're usually like, you know, Japanese or American, and it's like... It's always nice to see good things come out of smaller countries or smaller studios. I've always enjoyed that about things made in England or based in England. Or... Now, I messed this up last time. There we go. What's in here? A little freaky, if I'm honest. I assume... Oh. You asshole! I'm never gonna get to him. There we go. Give me that. Oh, it's a game. There we go. Come on. I assume when we've done, we can um, get our little coin back. Oh, this is weird, isn't it? Like a uh, whack a mole. There we go. We did it. Uh, give me that. There we go, thank you. Not weird at all. Okay, so these are all from the same level. We appear to have missed one. I hope that doesn't affect our score too badly at the end of the game. Because I always think I'm being super thorough in these games. But apparently I never am because you get to the end and you find out you've missed like 20 things. Another new costume piece, that's good. Can't go in there. Now these are timed if I remember right, there we go, and then let's go back and get the other one. Yeah, I, I don't know if I said this, but uh, I imagine we can go for platinum, not too hard on this as well. Can you kill your friends? There we go, get out. Hit him again before he gets a... Uh... Ooh, nice. Okay, and we've got another rose cabbage to fly into yeah it'd be kind of like you know we platinumed uh, Astro we platinumed Astro's playroom that was a good game that was a good platinum I'm hoping to platinum bug snacks and I'm also hoping to uh, platinum this as well because it, it seems like good fun game you know I doubt it's going to be that hard. Oh shit, these are timed. I got you. Damn. So many hidden things as well. Oh, we don't want to do that. We want to... There we go. Get all the little things. And that... Are these just used in the shop? I can't remember. Either way, it's that kind of... Crash Bandicoot mentality that we have to um, get every single thing. Another costume piece. Ah, oh, shit! I can't get down. There we go. Uh, do we, do we didn't do that, did we? Oh, and some more monsters and another piece as well. I like this. It's it's good fun. And the one thing I say I didn't like was the price. You know, PS5 games, next-gen console games in general, are going to be really quite pricey. Shit, I missed that one. The completionist in me must go and get it. Fuck. Here we go. Oh, I missed it again. Fuck you then, I'm, I'm not getting you. I mean, I hope it's also, like, not too repetitive as well. There we go. Get out of the way of you, whatever you are. Because some games like this, they have a, a tendency to be repetitive. And it's not, I say, it's not their fault. It's just how it goes. But 
I don't think we'll see it. Um... Shit, shit, shit. There you go. Oh, shit. There we go. We might see it a bit in, like, the same level, like these little uh, Yeti guys we're seeing quite a bit, but I doubt we'll see it too much, you know, spread across different levels. Like, these bad guys are new. I doubt we'll see them again in another level. And I love the little snow here as well. It's like those polystyrene little balls out of um, beanbag chairs. And um, I have a brief story about... <laughs> about that so a few years ago oh shit a few years ago we had a beanbag and it came to the time where it was time to get rid of the beanbag and me in my oh shit me in my ultimate wisdom said that we could cut open the beanbag and tip all of the little polystyrene balls into the bin it would take up less space than if we just emptied it out you know and put it in the bin straight away so stupidly the wind took the bean bags and distributed them lovingly all over our street and um, they were there for quite some time and they would i just i couldn't clean them up it was the worst i apologize to my neighbors for that oh it's a hair piece is it like a beard now let's not mess this up this time see we have to pose properly there we go hey <laughs> I messed it up the first time and I was just holding it real shitly, but I did it that time. That was a good one. I enjoyed that. That was good fun. And we got the present this time as well. And we got that one and that one and that one. But we missed... We missed the first uh, thingy sphere. So I can go back and get that another time. There we go. And I assume we'll need them to get up the mountain a bit more. See, so we only got four out of five bulbs there. We missed the first one. And then if we go back here and have a quick look, there's only one in this one. Okay, but we missed the present. So I will go back and get them another time. But we now know we sort of have to keep an eye on these little, uh, on these little orbs. Because I missed the first one, which would have been in that very first area that we missed. And because we've gone through it so quickly, we'll do another level just for fun this one is called up for grabs and uh, oh we can only have those costumes again so we'll stay as our little punk rocker sack boy okay oh see new enemies again i like it it's, it's not being repetitive at all they're not recycling anything this one seems very interesting okay I like the soundtrack as well. They've, they've. Ha Someone said to me the soundtrack is is like awesome, and uh, they have put a, a decent amount of attention to detail in the soundtrack. And some games suffer with uh, not doing that. And here we can. Oh, how do I grab again? There we go. Here we can pull out our little uh, not butt beads. Maybe it's just me. There we go. Punch you, punch you. The something's timed. I can hear something being timed. What is it? Shit, I shouldn't have done that. What's being timed? Oh, this is a checkpoint, so we clearly have to go that way. We can get across here a little more. There we go. I imagine we can. F oh, shit. We can get fired up. Come on. Oh, do we pull this out? There we go. See, Little Big Planet has a way of. Oh, it's a cloud. Little Big Planet has a way of. Um, a way of doing things, and it's uh, quite easy to spot. You know, things you can pull. I like this. This is a nice touch for 2020. The toilet rolls. Very nice touch. I wonder if that was like planned before because of 2020 or it was just a coincidence. Oh, and we got the first one here, so that's nice. 
Uh, then we can just come across here and we pull these out. Oh, shit. That was good fun. And the haptic feedback is doing an amazing job as I thought it would. Fucking hell. No, lots of vibrating going on. Letting me know. Oh, shit, shit. He fires stuff. There we go. Get out. Oh, shit. Damn, I don't think I can get him. Oh, I pull his tail. Right? There we go. Nice, see? Yeah, Little Big Planet has a way of these things, and they're quite obvious, but some aren't, you know? Something you have to pull or do, and you just can't for the life of you thinking about it. You know, it's that sort of child simplicity. You know, how'd you get an elephant in a refrigerator? You open the door and let him in. You know, as an adult, you're trying to think of every conceivable outcome of size ratios. There we go. Uh, we can go over that side, so let's do that first. I'm not sure if this is the way to go. Um, and now we seem to be okay. We can just go down here and get the new piece. And then we leave. Yeah, okay, this is where we should be. You know, the simplicity of child games. Oh, these are scary. Oh, no! But I don't die, at least. Oh, do I lose a few orbs? There we go. Is he gonna let me up again? Come on. Damn it, something was... I'm, I've missed a trick there. Fuck! That was real shitty, I gotta admit. So you clearly have three hits or whatever. How am I supposed to get on him though? It says Porsche. There's like nothing I can... Oh, I don't know. There's nothing I can do. It seems like we could have been fired up in the air. And there's a... Uh... Oh, I imagine... Yeah, okay, this is... Alright, alright, let me in. This is the secret with another game. Okay. Drag this. There we go. Are we gonna smile? Oh, and this one. And this one. Oh, shit. I don't know what the thing is. This is very... Oh. Another one. Smiley face. I imagine it's timed. There we go. We got it. Nice. And that's the third one. Awesome. So we're on track. We've not missed anything so far. And the soundtrack, I assume, was wrote just for the game. It's doing a very good job of uh, keeping me in high spirits. And all the textures are just so beautiful. We got wood grain, carpet, and it's like little grass. Some hot drinking chocolate. Again, this one is based around like a campsite, I believe. Oh, uh, there we go. And then we pull this. Harder. There we go. <laughs> so wrong. Come on. What's been timed now? I can hear something been timed. What is it? Give me a tail. What's on a timer? It's not that, is it? I can hear something timing out, but I, I don't know what it is. Life of me. Here we go. Fire off up there and get a new costume piece again. Oh no, it was a new, uh, a new orb. Get all these. Oh, get out of here, you. And again, the soundtrack has actually changed. It's for like the next bit of the level, which I like. Oh, we missed one. Okay, I imagine that's the way to go, so. There we go. Get out of there. Uh, where will this carry us? Okay. 
Oh, we, okay, we need to go down here. And then... There we go. Those things are kind of scary, aren't they? They're tins of beans with spikes on. Punch you out of the way. I mean, you know, I grew up in uh, the 90s. So games I played were, you know, Sonic the Hedgehog, Mario, and then later on, you know, PlayStation 1 games and so on. You know, growing up on people like me, we've grown up right throughout gaming history. You know, the most important influential times for modern gaming. But, you know, can you imagine? Now, I was like, oh, how do I get up there? Oh, something's been timed again. How do we do this? Oh, I don't know. Shit. That one's a mystery to me. Maybe I'm just being real shitty. You can bounce on them somehow. I don't know how, though. Maybe we can punch stuff. Shit, shouldn't have done that. Let's just forget it. I'll have to come back another time. Again, maybe I'm just being an idiot. Get all those. You know, yeah, I grew up in the most influential time in gaming history, at least in my opinion. You know, people my age, we've seen a bit of everything. We've managed to live through every generation of the PlayStation console. To me, that's very special. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm sorry. I'm just seeing if there's anything special. No. Okay. And it's like, can you imagine? You know, I got my first console at like uh, five five years old. Yeah, it was 1992. It was a real special time. It's like, can you imagine being five years old now and being given a PlayStation 5 and growing up with that level of technology? It's just truly amazing. Right, let's do uh, sort of this. <laughs> there we go. Yay. We're the winner again. Have a little dance. Okay, it's super good fun. And we got, oh, we only got four again. We missed that last one. I assume it would have been up that top bit that we didn't quite get. So, uh, back to the world map, I think. And we missed that, uh, whatever that level goal thing was there as well. I will come back and I will replay it all. But right now, I guess we're just playing for the story. Playing for the fun of it. So, this is where there's a bit of a... Oh, 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 oh yeah, okay. We got a... Oh, what's that? Is this another shop? Who is this? Oh, we punch it. Okay, I thought I was gonna get to. Oh, oh, oh! It's uh, zoom, zoom, zoom again. Get ready for a cornucopia of collectibles. That sounds like the fucking um, compared meerkat thing, doesn't it? Oh my god, I don't know what's going on. So it's just a little game we've been given. Here we go. I don't know what the fuck's going on. Alright. I'm getting as many as I can. Okay. I don't know what any of them do. There you go, there you go. Did we do? How about spending those collectibles at Zoom Zooms? You deserve a treat, and I deserve to be paid. <laughs> okay. A little threatening. Okay, we got 196. That's just a, a little side game to earn some extra bells, and it's now gone. So let's do as he said and go look in uh, Zoom Zooms. See if he's got any Hello. new Welcome outfits to Zoom Zooms, for us. Of fashion. We are at the top of the craft world, so pick a top outfit. <laughs> okay, I don't think they've uh, really got anything else for us that we haven't sort of already uh, looked at so uh i'm not bothered let's let's save them for when we get some better costume shall we 
I mean, this reminds me as well. So we can go here, which is keys to success, and then this is locked still, and I imagine this is a two-player couch co-op thing we can do. So let's jump into keys to success. And we'll be our punk rocker sack boy once again, because I like him, I like his hair, plus we don't have too many collectibles at this time. So this one's going to be about keys. We need five keys to open the main gate by the looks of it. So this one isn't going to sort of be an A to B platformer. I imagine we'll have to go off in five different directions to get five different keys. So what do we do here? Oh, okay. We have to throw them uh, through the square. There we go. Okay. Very cool. So yeah, I remember on the old little big planets. Oh shit. And you, um, oh, okay, I can't get them while I'm running. Yeah, on the old Little Big Planets, there were so many, like, DLC skins you could, oh, shit. Oh, I didn't see that. Can I then pick them up? I don't know what the point of that is. We have one key. And it's like some of my favorite skins were like the PlayStation exclusive ones. Like, um, and there was a Solid Snake one, there was a Nathan Drake one. There was some really cool exclusive skins in there and I really enjoyed them. And I doubt we'll see, oh God. I doubt we'll see that level of customization again with like the, um, the licensed stuff. Oh shit. Is that another key I see? Yes it is. Okay, so this is all good fun. This is a, a different dynamic than we've seen so far. You know, it's not so A to B platformy left to right, you know. There are other things to do. You know, it's a lot more searching and revolving around, oh shit. Shit. Didn't expect that. So how do I get up there, right? I'm a bit confused on that one. Let me just see what else there is around. And I kind of got trapped in the thing. Pull these out of here. Very nice. Come on. Get all them. And then there's a big... Uh... Oh, okay. I imagine we can jump on those. Oh, and another question mark game. I like that. Again, confused. Oh, is do I need two people to do that? Maybe. Again, excuse me if I'm wrong. I'm just sort of spouting off what I see. See what you see. Oh, and there's another key as well. I imagine we just go on there and then... Oh, I should have fought. I should have thrown that. Shit, don't kill me. There we go. And the square, there we go. And we get our third key. Two more. There we go. Right, get these out. Three. Okay. Oh, there's a fish. Oh I can I can hit I can hit stuff with the fish. Get out of here, you. Discard. Why would I why would I want to discard the fish? It's awesome. I can beat stuff with it. You don't want to slap things with a wet fish. Okay. There's another key here. Yeah. Okay. Again, I'm confused about what, how I can get this one. There we go. There's that. And then we can trigger off that one. Oh, shit. Get out of here. Yeah. There we go. Oh, again, it's so stupid. You can just climb right in. I'm there trying to think of these elaborate things to get the damn thing out. There you go, get out of here. I'm trying to think of these elaborate schemes to get the key out, and it's just so damn simple. Uh, 
There we go. See, again, break the box, climb up in this place. Oh, and we've got one out of three for this one, so there's not as many, but still two we don't have. So let's go back over here. And this is where we're going to come in trouble because... Oh, 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 oh. Okay, 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 okay. Maybe we need to throw at least one of these up here. I may be completely wrong. I'm just giving it a go. So if we jump on this one, there we go. And then throw that over there. There you go. See, we got there in the end. Sorry, I'm quite chuffed with... Uh, <laughs> with how smart I was there. Uh, I'm usually I'd be I'd be, I'd be kill him with the fish There you go Okay, so uh, There's some more enemies There we go, and then this one as well And there's you in there. There we go. And we killed all the enemies we get our new Oh, it's another one of those. Okay, cool. Okay, so this doesn't help us with our uh, key conundrum. Still got to figure out how to get that last key, which uh, I imagine if it's anything to go by this spy, we're going to have to... We're going to have to maybe chuck him again. Oh. Oh, shit. Pick him up. There we go. Okay, so if we throw this at him, he will break, and then we can throw that there we go and it brings it right down into my possession i don't know if we can break these there we go and then this one awesome i mean you know like i said it's a relatively family friendly relatively it is it's a family friendly game you know but beads aside but has anyone actually struggled like you know i've heard it can be a bit infuriating a bit frustrating has there been a bit that anyone's got to on this level where you've been like, man, I'm stunned. I'm going to have to Google it now. Oh, sh oh, uh, oh, shit. Get some more of these. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Surely they'll all just come to the bottom and I can get them all right. There we go. I, I was getting worried. Oh, and it's the end of the level as well. Nice. I wonder if we can... Uh... You can be in my picture. And with the fish. Oh, he's gone. Maybe I can hold him. No, he's gone. Did we get everything? That was a nice, easy level. I liked that. That was good fun. New costume piece is a beard. I got the fish as well. I get to keep it. And we got a nice cheery post in that one. Awesome. Absolutely. I love that. Very cool. Have a little dance. <laughs> <laughs> this is a knitted night. Okay. Oh, don't tell me you've never heard about the knitted knights of the Imagosphere. Mm -mm. The sworn protectors of Craftworld. Am I going to be a knitted knight? Well, it's a knitted knight's duty to defend this world from threats like Vex. Uh. A vile creature born of nightmares and dread. With the power of the uproar at his command, corrupting everything it touches. Craftworld needs a new protector, a sack person of true potential. Is it Someone me? Someone like you. Like you. Well, not just you. See, the Imagosphere is a vast place. There are countless other craft worlds out there, even uh. countless knitted knights in waiting. And you have the power to call on their help if you want it. Think of them as friends who look just like you. But all that really matters is that you stop Vex. He can't be allowed to collect all the things he needs to finish his topsy turva. And it starts by facing him at the top of this very mountain. Oh, starts and not finishes. Cool. I like that. It's good fun. And we didn't get all the present bits, but we got all the bells, and we missed the first little orb as well. So back to the world map. Now, what have we got here? We've got 11 orbs now. Roll out the carpet some more. 
to the next level, which appears to be like a snowy level. And we can now do our co-op one. Let's just have a quick look, shall we? Friends in high places. It seems like it'd be a co-op one, but it could probably let me do it. And there's a little QB thing over there as well. Oh, I can't jump, can I? What is this? Oh, I can't get it. Okay. So the next level is called Ready Yeti Go. And it sounds like another snow level, but I think that's going to be it for today. We've had good fun playing a sack boy on his big adventure. Thank you once again for joining me. I hope you've had a good time as I have. So thanks very much for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. There is a link in the description for Retro Liquor merch, and I'll see you later. Thank <laughs> you.